don't sound excited about open scoring. It is an idea that does nothing to enhance the drama. That Cotto might make mistakes in front of a home crowd. He got rocked by uh, Demarcus Corley here in San Juan. Body punchers hurt you in ways that head punchers. Straight left hand up the middle by Cotto lands on Urkel first time to try to get that left hook to the body in. Cotto's body punching because every time Cotto goes to the body, he's Urkel's got an extensive amateur career, so. I have to check my bio. Another right to the rib cage by Cotto. Trying to fight a little fire with fire. But give him credit, he's a professional and he's performing at what looks to be. Okoto comes upstairs with a left hook and then lowers the shot. Merkel coming back. He's hitting. That's, that's a mark of a good boxer. Okoto is his left hook. He's been working on the straight right hand over the years, much as Oscar De La Hoya started. There's the left hook to the body by Cotto, and he slams it, or he could be tired early. Yeah, he's been landing some good punch. Watch your head, watch your head. Cotto's standing there like he almost wants now the danger of facing this body puncher up close. And there it is again. Well, I'm sure he's been in the ring, in the gym, and uh, I know he's been working hard. So we should see good things. Like the occasion at 140 pounds where he traded punches with Ricky Torres and got himself in big trouble. Cotto's able to take these punches. Harold Letterman tell you before the fight that there will be open scoring after the fourth and eighth round. The scores are probably going to show that Miguel Cotto has won the round. Again, you listen to the crowd, ooh and ah, uh, for the body shots of Cotto. And Urkel comes back with a couple. If you hit the body, it comes from the old school. When you hit the body, the head dies. And even if a tall, if you're back, I would say, you know, it would have to be a Vander Holyfield, Ray Mercer. Good uppercut by Cotto there. Urkel sticks the jab. Cotto goes back to banging away at his ribcage. Go ahead. Chopping left hand. What about Cotto's potential height disadvantage against bigger welterweights like Williams and Cintron? And got Quintana out in the fifth round after Quintana had outboxed. Copy box numbers, you're gonna beat your opponent up. After the last round, you saw the numbers on your screen that indicated Miguel Cotto was landing exact angles and set up the power shot. He but, does it again here. But Urko's still throwing that right hand. If the original cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, and it's beyond the fourth round, you go to the score cut side. We're in the seventh of the scheduled 12 rounds, and it would appear that Cotto has won all of the first six. He's a well-trained fighter. Swinging left hook and a wink yeah. at Lennox Lewis. Scoring is yeah. one-sided. The outcome seems ordained. Hey. This is always that chance that the referee is going to stop it or the cut could worsen. We're thinking, oh no, I'm going to lose my June 9 date with Judah in Madison Square Garden. He's accustomed to chopping people down around the 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth round. Urko definitely came to fight. And there's no question Miguel Cotto's punches in the last two rounds have not had the same snap. Like As in the pre <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the round. Did you? Now goes on between fighters sometimes. Big uppercut with the left hand by Cotto. And this. Lennox, do you think Zab Judah can really crack? Capable of fighting for three or four rounds, but not beyond that point. Still in all, he's 36. Cotto's. And Erko's not an easy target. He's moving around the ring. He's doing what he does naturally. Now he box has traps. Now part of that is the result of that fact that they fought into the. Erko was fighting there. I ran into uh, Urkal in the fitness room. I don't know. It doesn't look like any great act of strength to me. So they roar with approval every time he lands something. Against Urkow. I don't know about that one. They're throwing the towel in from the corner. They won good. He wasn't losing the fight. He was doing well. I, I, Miguel.